<laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you guys didn't know what you were coming into tonight, did you? No. This is how crazy this starts. This is how normalcy is. <laughs> this is. This is normal for us. And for, for those of you who don't know me, this is how I roll. <laughs> Backwards. Backwards. Forward. Down, sideways. Up, sideways. Shadow. Right. Clockwise. Amazing. All over the map. So, um, I have noticed, so just to kind of give you um, some insight about this, I'm glad you guys showed up because this call went out. I've been noticing in the last, I'm going to say two, three weeks, the common theme of abundance has been in a lot of everybody's fields. So I asked Shirley here, I said <laughs> we should go and do this because everybody's kind of needing that amplification of that energy to come through and also to help synchronize you to Gaia, new Gaia, new frequency of Gaia so that way you resonate with that, with her energy because we're still fluctuating, so we're still fluctuating with old earth, new earth, old earth, new earth, old earth, new earth, new earth. New earth. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, you guys are catching on now, perfect, so Shirley agreed and now we're here. <laughs> so this is Shirley. Hi Shirley. Hi Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Let's give Shirley a round of applause. <laughs> awesome. And I'll have Shirley say a little bit about herself. All right, for a lot of you who doesn't know me know that I work with mathematical gematria patterns in order to change our DNA. And of course, we do know that DNA is resonance, it is language. And if you change the language of our DNA, then you change what you resonate to, and you change what resonates to you. So I have had a very, uh, very special gift that has come through, through the Benevolent Outworlders. And they come through the Galactic uh, Federation and many different embassies of different... Um, I say different galactic worlds, different planets, different beings. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fleets coming in through here. And what they do is, is they bring them in interdimensionally through the timelines, past, present, and future. And these are where the activations come in from. I know that um, some of you aren't familiar with my work, but basically what this does is it kicks out the illusions and brings in divine manifestation. And we're all programmed with a set of numbers that have been very particular to our DNA from the beginning. But unfortunately, uh, the illusion was programmed within our soul mapping at the time because in the beginning they wanted us to be a slave race. We are not a slave race. We have won our ascension. We have won our evolution. We are ascending and there are many on our side to keep it that way. So we always know that frequency, vibration has always been a part of us. It's a part of what we do every day. Everything has a longitude and longitude of frequency. And what they showed me was a very simple gamatria sequence. As you know, that God equals number one. All things go back into God in order for God to know God, to understand God, to experience God as we are all part of God. God equals number one. That is the I am presence. I am that I am. We are all a part of that, and that is God. Zero point frequency is this divine finger of God. That is not God itself, okay? Do you know that? That's where all potential ways to become experienced. That is all points of creation, all points of God creation where we choose to manifest. So what this does is it goes into neutrality because fire and water may be opposites in some people's minds, but Water may put out fire, but fire does not put out water. The opposite of fire is no fire. The opposite of water is no water. So we go into neutrality and we rebuild into potential, becoming experience. We change the DNA, and it's a very simple sequence. As you know, 9 is the ultimate gamatri number. 1 divided by 9 equals 0 0.1111111. That is our cell mapping. And if you divide that by 9 again, we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Oops, the 8 is missing. What happened there? But that is a true mathematical uh, pattern. So what happened is, is a false connection got put in between that 7 and the 9. And that was the illusion that was programmed back into our soul mapping as 1 is the ultimate mutable number. And we were able to use the illusion as our reality. So in many ways, we were programmed to resonate to things that were maybe not our truth or our truth and consciousness. 
We're using the Divine 72 is the way we put the 8 back into the sequence. And the Divine 72 is a high mutable number. It's a very holy number. It's been a crop circle that came out in England in 2012. And it is a mutable of 8, 9, and 6. So if you've got a mutable of 8 and 9 that can go back into the number 1s, then it synchronizes. 72 divided by 9 equals 8. 8 divided by 72 equals 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, the same. And it synchronizes. The 8 takes its rightful place. It takes its rightful place in the soul mapping. The illusion is kicked out. The infinity symbol and divine <coughs> manifestation takes its rightful place in our DNA. And then the old patterns of the ancestries, then we can work with kicking those out. Whatever has consciousness, has life force, and if you've got 500 generations of a generational pattern, guess what you're going to do? You're going to act it out. You may not plan on doing that. You may not understand why you're doing that. But this is something that's in your DNA. What happens with divine manifestation is you choose through free will how you wish to create yourself and you no longer have to sit there and be rubber banded back into ancestral patterns. So this does free us and it's exact same formula that is used to program the illusion is exact same formula that is used to get us out of it. You cannot reverse number one. Good luck. <laughs> even one, even zero, is minus one in other numerical sequences. This translates into every numerical sequence, intergalactically, interdimensionally, in all numerical sequences. So it is in all time frames, past, present, and future, in all timelines. We do exist as a collective. It also affects our collective, and it affects the timelines. These do change timelines. These change your timelines. So know that we are part of changing the world and the evolution. If you are called to get these activations, trust me, you are not ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! Surprise! <laughs> if you've been called to get these, guess what? You are resonating to a much higher frequency and you know that each one of your destinies are not ordinary. Most people are not attracted to activations like this. They look like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is you know that there is something you're resonating to and you know there's something you're going to mm -hmm. receive and you know it's going to change how each and every one of you resonate out in your healing in your everyday life in your consciousness and it does affect your families and it does affect your ancestry and it affects your offspring so how about that Yay. <laughs> all righty you guys ready to be zapped <laughs> Have a great event. <laughs> Do you think he's the only one flashing those lights? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that was a collective. We are all flashers. <laughs> if there's anything you got out of this activation, it's that. <laughs> you are a flasher. <laughs> you are flashing. I am. <laughs> I think we're going to have a neutral like that. <laughs> Alright, leave the trench coats. <laughs> That's a new t-shirt. Yeah, new t-shirt. I am a flasher. I am a flasher. <laughs> Alright, what we are doing tonight, I'm going to do a little bit of neutralization to uh, negate any and all interference. We are doing the broadcast prosperity rates, so mission rates and activation. Mm -hmm. I, have, um, I do have rates that are in a, a pattern of an octagon that expands out in awareness, and that is the Gaia abundance activations that goes with them. So your awareness will be expanding with Gaia, with the abundance, and then we will go ahead and get into um, clearing all the different kind of programming that's happened with the monies, you know, that... Um, and abundance that has happened with us. So understand money is not abundance. It's sure a nice part of it. But the thing is, is abundance is about all prosperity and all success in all areas in our lives. And then, of course, the abundance just comes with that. So do remember that. So you're probably saying, well, how will that help my bank account? Don't we find a way. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, guys. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Did you want to bring in some, and then I'll bring in uh, the commanders? Mm -hmm. The galactic fleets. Yeah. All right, so we're going to set up the space and welcome all our friends here, all the ones of the highest resonance. <clears throat> here within the circle, within the space, I stand now in alignment, universal alignment to each and every one of you. As I call forward the higher resonance of the greater I Am presence now to stand and illuminate 
I ask for the highest frequency of love now to radiate within the circle, east, south, west, north, above, and below. I welcome to the ancestors of the ancestors past to stand with us, to align with us at this moment in time, within this timeline, within the dimensional frequencies here and now. I call for a continuation of the highest resonance of light, the 333s, the 444s, to stand now, at this moment in time, east, south, west, north, above and below, as we receive and heed words of wisdom, encouragement, energies, now to stand with us. At this moment, here within the circle, I welcome into this space those of the highest resonances, the masters, galactic masters, to stand with us. I call upon the energies now to be to shine to illuminate. I call forward Ashtar and Ashtar Command, Commander K and the galactic fleets of all resonance of all colors to stand with us, to bring forward your radiance, to bring forth your assistance now. We welcome you. Archangel Raphael, Archangel Haniel, we thank our uh, Master Buzulu, Master Rikuzi, thank you. Thank you, Commander Ashtar, for your presence. We thank you, Archangel Metatron. The keeper of the Catholic records, and we ask for access as we are overlighted by the cause of Christ vibration only now. We ask for access to the group collective Oversoul. Thank you. We ask for access to the Catholic records, both the conscious and the collective. Thank you. Thank you. Let it be known, this has been recorded in the Catholic Records on this date. Wow, I think it has one altered here. <laughs> on this date, July 5th, 2017. Let it be known by recording now. Thank you. We thank you, uh, Lady Nada. We thank you for your presence. We thank all the masters of the 13th Sacred Rays of Creation and all the seven rays the rings of fire. Thank you, Master Emmanuel. And thank you. Master Jesus, Mary Magdalene. Take the elementals. And we thank the animal kingdoms that are represented here tonight. We thank the wolf kingdom, the cat kingdom, the wolf clan, the cat clan, the feline clan. Thank you. Oh, we have insects and the beetles and the grasshoppers and the fairies and elementals. Thank you. Buffalo clan, we thank you. We thank the bear clan for your presence. <laughs> He's waiting for that. <laughs> 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 the care bears. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And the flyers, the eagles, the hawks, the falcons. The recyclers, the crows, the condors. Thank you. Please prepare to remove any and all interference. Thank you. And we all claim that we are the light and the cause of Christ's vibration only now. Thank you. Eight divided by nine equals point eight 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 divided by nine equals nine eight seven six five four three two zero divided by eight equals one two three four five six seven nine equals one two three four five six seven eight nine equals point one 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 eight divided by nine equals point eight 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 divided by nine equals nine seven six five four three two zero going into zero point frequency and we are neutralizing any and all Interference, vows of pro, any and all vows of poverty in all parallel, alternate, and direct timelines, neutralizing any and all judgments about monies and worth in relation to abundance and monies in all time frames and dimensions, past, present, and future alternate, direct, and parallel timelines, neutralizing any and all karmic debt interfering with the receiving of love, abundance, and earl monies, and all time frames and dimensions, past, present, and future, 
in all bodies, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and thoroughly, in all alternate, direct, and parallel universes, in all time-space continuum, in all spaces in between, in all generations, infinite mother and father's line now. Divided by eight equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equals point one, 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 one. We run the generator for purification of energy over any and all debris of all judgments, vows, wires, connections, clones, interference, energies that have been in the way in each and all abundance of all infinite and divine beings here. Now, 333 to the power of 9 equals 2997 plus 2331 minus 4848 equals 480 to the power of 9 equals 4320. 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 0 equals 9 to the power of 9 equals 81 times 6 equals 486 plus 684 equals 1170 plus 2331 equals 3501 to the power of 9 equals 31509. 3 plus 1 plus 5 plus 0 plus 9 equals 18. 1 plus 8 equals 9 to the power of 9 equals 81 plus 18 equals 99 divided by 11 equals 9 minus 3 equals 6 minus 3 equals 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Broadcast prosperity rates, cell mission rates, and activation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Okay. This is for a lot of fleets in here. <laughs> <laughs> About trillions, how many? <laughs> the ships come in all sizes. Uh, so they're not just big, that's what they're saying. They're small ones too. So that's why when you say trillions, <laughs> then there's little ones here to the walk, weaving in and out. So, bigger is not always better. They do have good bumpers on them, so. <sighs> Enter broadcast prosperity rates, so mission rates and activation. 9 times 8 equals 72 divided by 9 equals 8 divided by 9 equals point eight 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 divided by 9 equals 9765432 neutralize all consciousness and aspects associated with the control of all the divine beings listening now infinite number of generations Divided by nine equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It goes one point one zero times eight equals eight point eight. Engage Gaia frequency to receive prosperity consciousness. Two, two, two minus ten, ten point eight, eight, eight to the power of nine equals seven, zero, nine, nine point nine, nine, two plus two, six, zero. Minus five three five three equals one two one nine two point nine nine two equals one five point two zero times one zero one zero equals one zero two five point two to the power of thirteen equals one three three two seven point six one plus three plus three plus two plus seven plus six equals twenty two minus eleven equals eleven minus ten equals one plus one equals two times one 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 equals two two two. Three beats. Thank you. Inner Gaia abundance octagonal expansion rates now. 
2.222 minus 1010.888 10, to a tangent of 9 equals 5166.1754667.8833645991158052528.9985258.0425 1.028.448 1.02e+05 4.86 e plus 07 1.77 e plus 10 2.80 e plus 13 5.28 e plus 18 1.36 e plus 21 3.25 e plus 23 seven zero nine nine point nine nine two to the tangent of six equals three two one one point four three seven five six four one two two eight point nine six four two nine six six point nine eight one two two seven zero point eight two nine nine eight three one point seven one two seven two nine two six two six point four four five one six zero five point seven one nine one four eight three point four nine one three point nine five e plus zero six one point seventeen e plus ten two point six six e plus one three two point six one e plus seventeen one point nine one e plus two four three zero six e plus two seven four point point five four e plus thirty one two one nine two point nine nine two to a tangent of nine it goes five five one five point zero eight one two one seven two one one zero point five three five zero nine five point two seven one three eight nine nine point seven five one one six eight four point two four two two one five zero seven four four five point three two seven five seven point five four one two five four seven point six three five one point one six e plus zero seven five point nine three e plus ten two point three one e plus fourteen three point nine one E plus 18, 8.40. E plus 25, 2 2.32. E plus 29, 5.90. E plus 32. 1025.2 to a tangent of 13 equals 474.6892655. 181.656, E, plus 04, 3.78, E, plus 07, 1.27 e plus 10 1.84 e plus 13 2.94 e plus 18 6 e plus 20 1.53 e plus 23 1337.6 to a tangent of 22 117.971331 Four five one four six one zero eight point nine nine one eight three point four one eight three six one point one six five nine eight four zero point nine seven one five eight point nine eight six five four point four nine six five point three three e plus zero three five point eighty e plus zero five point eight four 
E plus 0, 07, 1.75. E plus 10, 1.72. E plus 14, 1.02. E plus 16, 5.53. E plus 17. Integrate abundance template, divide equation. 8.999 times 72 equals 647.928. 6 plus 4 plus 7 equals 17. 1 plus 7 equals 8. 9 plus 2 plus 8 equals 19. 0 point now. 1 plus 9 equals 10. 1 plus 0 equals 1. 1 plus 8 equals 9 times 8 equals 72 divided by 6 equals 12 times 8 equals 216. 2 times 1 times 6 equals 12 times 6 equals 72 divided by 8 equals 9. 9 times 0.888 equals 7992 divided by 8 equals 999 minus 888 equals 111 times 1 million equals 0.000111 times 111000 equals 12.3210. Disengage from AL. Disengage now. All pain bodies of interference now. 2020 times 8444 equals 17056880175 plus 6880 equals 8585 plus 5858 equals 14443 minus 1003 equals 4440. 1705 plus 6880 equals 8585 plus 5858 equals 1443 minus 1003 equals 4440. Three times. All right, 390. Soul mission 390. Let's go of any issues or situations that are no longer positively serving you in your life. Removes fear of lack or loss and creates trust that better is coming your way. You deserve happiness and success and the Masters are ensuring that all good things come into your life. 398. 3 plus 9 plus 0 equals 14 times 72 equals 1008 divided by 12 equals 84. 8 plus 4 equals 12 times 144 equals 1728 times 77 equals 133056. <coughs> 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 0 plus 5 plus 6 equals 18 times 17 equals 306 times 12 equals 367. 2 divided by 2 equals 1836. 18 times 36 equals 648 minus 390 equals 258. 2 plus 5 plus 8 equals 15 times 9 equals 135 plus 72 equals 207 plus 84 equals 291 plus 99. Integrate and activate 390. Now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Six six seven. Integrate and activate six six seven. So mission number now. It is positive progress, spiritual awakening, and advancement on all levels. It signifies the strong connection with the angelic and spiritual realms and opens the doorway to the divine. 667, 6 plus 6 plus 7 equals 19 times 72 equals 1368 divided by 12 equals 114. 1 plus 1 plus 4 equals 6 times 144 equals 864 times 77 equals 665. 28, 6 plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 8 equals 27 times 17 equals 5508 divided by 2 equals 2754. 27 times 54 equals 1458. 791 minus 667 equals 17 times 9 equals 153 plus 72 equals 225 plus 225 equals 450 plus 217 equals 667 integrate and activate cell mission 667 now five four two it is the connection you have with the angels to help you manifest blessings and positive abundance into your life 542, 5 plus 4 plus 2 equals 11 times 72 equals 792, divided by 12 equals 66, 
6 plus 6 equals 12 times 144 equals 172. 8 times 77 equals 133056. 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 0 plus 5 plus 6 equals 18 times 17 equals 306 times 12 equals 3672 divided by 2 equals 1836. 18 times 36 equals 648 minus 66 equals 106. 1 plus 0 plus 6 equals 7 times 9 equals 63 plus 72 equals 135 plus 135 equals 270 times 2 equals 540 plus 2 equals 542. Integrate and activate soul mission 542 now. Take some deep breaths. Feel it within your heart space. Feel it within your heart. Integrate and activate. Integrate and activate. With your intention, think activate. Integrate into your physicality, your emotional bodies, mental body, universal bodies, all aspects of you, past life, future life, present self, soul group, ancestors, mothers and fathers, timelines, cultural affiliations, genetics, activate DNA, begin integration, integrate, integrate, integrate. See in your mind's eye, envision your double helix of your DNA. Envision your chromosomes, the RNA, the DNA frequency sequentials. Envision these, receiving these encodements, receiving these activations, awakening to the divine blueprint, the new blueprint of your new self. Receive, integrate, and activate. So it is. 447, activate soul mission. 447, 4 plus 4 plus 7 equals 15 times 72 equals 1080 divided by 12 equals 90. 9 plus 0 equals 9 times 144 equals 1296 times 77 equals 99792. 9 plus 9 plus 7 plus 9 plus 2 equals 36 times 17 equals 612 times 12 equals 7244 divided by 2 equals 3672. 36 times 72 equals 2592 minus 447 equals 2145. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 4 plus 5 equals 9. 3 times 9 equals 27. Plus 72 equals 99 minus 66 equals 33. Plus 11 equals 44 times 10 equals 440. Plus 1 equals 441. Plus 6 equals 447. 4 plus 4 plus 7 equals 15. 1 plus 5 equals 6 times 12 equals 72 divided by 9 equals 8 divided by 72 equals 1111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111
integrate and activate, accelerate, disengage from all pain bodies, all that no longer serves within your generational timelines, within your dimensional frequency connections, all that no longer serves for each of you have honored those aspects, this past, these timelines, <coughs> embarking upon new adventures, embarking upon your passions. Ask yourselves, declare to your I am presence, the aspect of source that is within and embodied in your entire fields, in your entire being, entire physicality, the molecular structure that makes up who you are in this dimensional timeline upon this planet in which you walk, in which you live, in which you habitat. This beautiful, habitable planet, this Gaia, Mother Frequency, now illuminating with the future aspect of you. If you can envision through your imagination, through your intention, seeing a beautiful world that is created out of love. Imagine this place. Imagine what this place would feel like. Imagine the prosperity and the abundance, unnecessary usage of this monetary system. Imagine a world in which you can bring about manifestation with a mere thought, utilizing energy all around you, abundant energy that stems from the core of the new earth, but also from your skies, from the galactic nature, resonating within your entire being, establishing your connection to this aspect of you, the I am presence, the I am presence, I am all that I am, we are, we are you, you are I, we are, we are, we are. It is I who speaks through this one, this Garrett, he has yet to receive introduction to my energies has been wondering why this being, as he thinks and interprets it to be, has been hovering above him all today. <laughs> it is I, one called Master Vuslu. I am keeper and guardian to these rays, to the abundance rate bringing forth manifestation, each of you were called this night, each of you guided. I wish to share with you a story, a story of your awakening, a story of your upbringing. Each of you stems from the greater I am. There are many meanings, interpretations of this, what it is that it may be called, the God aspect, the God particle perhaps, the I am self, first source in native traditions, native wisdoms, great spirit, great mystery. So this source each of you are source. Did I break some templates? Good. 
My mission has been accomplished. <laughs> My mission has succeeded. Each of you are the aspect of the greater I am presence source. If we all as a human component come from source, are we not source? Are we not that radiant, vibrant, ever elusive power that continues to spread all across your galaxy? Each of you has this component. It is now time to remember this particle, this energy, this I am self, I am presence, as this one would call it, the cosmic starlight. Each of you are stars. Each of you are an aspect of a star. You are all stars, dear ones. Recognize that. Know it to be so. Feel it. Embrace it. Now shine bright, shine bright so that you may illuminate your surroundings. First, illuminating your feels, your physicality, your emotional well-being, your mental body, enlightenment. This meaning means simply to lighten up. It is very simple, dear ones, very simple. This one tends to complicate it. <laughs> this one tends to structure it by bringing about what you would call known as ceremony, perhaps. Yes, that works. Yes, but it can be very simple. Please remind him. <laughs> I open the floor to any curiosities that you may have. Perhaps with the integration of these frequencies, these downloads, these newer earth resonances, these new encodements that are now flowing in and out, activating the dormancy of your DNA, of your RNA, of your genetics. Many of your scientists have yet to discover but know of its existence. They say there are strands that encompass the DNA structure, but there is more than 12 there's 13 and 14 and 15. We have watched in observance as these ceremonies have been provided all across your world, activating, 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 activating your planet, illuminating the portals, activating the cosmic web that flows within and all around your planet, your Gaia, your mother. Through these activations, not only are they activating Gaia, they are also activating all her children, all whose stems and is grown from her embodiments, the differences in physicality. The trees are becoming more activated. With your intentions, I will share with you a simple but yet very effective exercise. Perhaps many of you know or perform this task simply hugging a tree. 
but I would bring more illumination to what you may utilize with its energy as you may wander and see through your perception the trees rise, the trees grow. But in 3D form, they can only go so far. Is that not true? Many trees have the capacity and the ability to grow very tall and very strong. They have a firm anchor, a firm grounding through their root system that keeps them stabilized. So through their immersion and growing in their 3D form, they go only so high. But ethereal form of each individual plant, animal, spirit, flower, is much more vibrant that you may or may not see or may or may not sense through your third dimensional form but each of you have the capacity each of you know how to utilize this peace this intuition through your heart resonance and heart connection so therefore simply sit beneath the tree. Honor it with your intention. What it is that I wish to see this day? What is it that I wish to release this day? What hinders my progression? What keeps me unhappy? What prevents me from moving forward? These are merely questions that you can utilize and suggest with your intentions. As you sit at the base of this tree, now you recognize the aspect of you that is a tree. Establishing your relationship with this tree and therefore receiving the answers. The answers. Trees serve to amplify. Trees are merely antennae. They reach out into the outskirts, I should say, outskirts of your planet, of your galactic nation, of your solar system. They are able to harness individual frequencies such as an antenna would such as the capacity of your satellites would. So you are that beacon and merely receiving the cosmic information from the intergalactic libraries that spread all across your solar systems. There is one library very close that has yet to be discovered there is one library that is easily accessible, but hmm, they are wondering if I should share this information with you. <laughs> Perhaps if I get a yes, I may. Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> there is one or more, a group, who have harnessed, who have accessed, accessed is this language, English, difficult, accessed this information through the depiction of the film, the cinematic movie that had come out in your theaters. We would say that it had arrived in your audiences a year perhaps two years perhaps of your timeline this movie depiction has the royalty has the governing body theme around the planet of Jupiter 
So there, on this planet, there is a vast library that each of you now have the key. We have gifted this to you so that you may call, so that you may unlock some knowledge from this library. It is at the second, I would say more, the inner core of your planetary system. It is connected to one of the moons of your Jupiter. The significance of the number 21. 21 accessible code. 2121. That is the key, dear ones. That is your, what you would call perhaps, a pin number so that you may access access this information from this library. It is at your doing, it is at your provision, perhaps at your own inspiration. For those of you who are writers, you may start to utilize this library and bring into manifestation the intergalactic histories of your solar system through your storytelling. Those of you who are artists may depict and see receiving images of the library that carries vast information mostly pertaining to your galactic history here on your mother, your Gaia. Many of the times and the teachings of times past have suggested, perhaps, in your informational systems, they had mentioned libraries beneath the Sphinx, in the arena of the pyramids. This is merely but more of an outpost, if you would call, just a segment, small segment, but its connections is to the vast library that resides in the Jupiter planetary system, in the moons, which are satellites, which emanate information. As part of your journey now, each of you have access to this. Through your connection with the trees, your intention, perhaps as you meditate, maybe if you are a channeler, you may channel information. So set your recording devices to record what may come through. It is time now to bring this information into light, into this density, into this dimensional timeline. So I share this with you this night, 2121 access. That is the code for you. Perhaps now I may open floor to questions, curiosities. Who is brave? <laughs> they may be of individual nature or on form of collective. Perhaps you are curious how you may utilize this code. Please. Questions. How can we utilize this code? Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, yeah. How can we? Or is it, is, it, is it different for each individual person? It is depending upon your intention, dear one. Perhaps you may have an intention to want to embody more energy, to raise your vibration, perhaps. Yes. So that is how that this can help you personally. Does this make sense? Yes. Each of you, please applaud dear one. She was brave. But <laughs> <laughs> she speaks for you. She is part of the collective, as each of you are. She is merely the vessel and the voice for some of your thoughts. So to elaborate a little more, Intention, intention is key. 
what it is that you wish to manifest for yourself, what it is that will help you in the form of this abundance. This abundance, yes, comes in many forms. It may come in the form of feathers, or stones, or crystalline beans, or sticks, or rocks, or leaves. That is the abundance, dear ones. You have merely forgotten truly what this meaning is. Abundant living, living abundantly, living in appreciation, in reciprocity with yourself, with your soul family, with your brothers and sisters of humanity. Each of you now have received the encodements of your soul mission. So I wish to share with you that there are perhaps beings in your personal energy fields that may fall away. <coughs> and I say this merely as a warning so that your ego form will know and will not fight this when it comes time. Take it or leave it. <laughs> but it is people falling away. Those who no longer serve, those who no longer reside within your energetic matrix form. These ones cannot operate in that vessel unless they make an effort to move forward in their growth, in their ascension. It may feel lonely at times, but I wish for you to look around to see each other in this room. Each of you are family. Each of you are part of a soul group. Each of you may always have that relationship here. You are welcome within this circle. You will get, as this one would call it, your cosmic fix. <laughs> <laughs> merely a suggestion. Merely, merely. Any other curiosities, questions? Who is grave? What movie was it that you were talking about? This one depiction, and please share with me. I am seeking the assistance of the little ones here. Jupiter ascending. Mm -hmm. I thought so. <laughs> that was a good movie. <laughs> Perhaps some of you come from that planet. I would think so. You are remembering those memories. The governing body that once had held counsel there. If you not have seen this movie, perhaps it is now time to watch it. There is magic all across this earth, all across this world. It is at your bringing, it is at your convenience on how to access it, access it. It is most accessible your books, your movies, your stories, each of these are depictions. Perhaps you may ask yourself, why is it that this movie speaks so strongly? Why is it that this book resonates with me deeply? You are remembering those aspects of you perhaps past life, future life, but now a broader spectrum of this. Your intergalactic selves now embodying, you remember, remember, remember those pieces, those particles of you, those aspects of you that are the tree. Embrace perhaps your inner dragon, the dragoons have been coming 
returning back to this earth. The unicorns, the unicorns, these ones, gentle, soft, musical, embracing that part of you, embracing your inner elf, your inner leprechaun, being mischievous, <laughs> being funny, being prankster. Keep it light, dear ones, keep it light. Further questions, curiosities? Can we access this abundance to help um, enhance our healing capabilities, working with people? If that is your intention, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Be in balance, dear ones, with your ego. Do not let or allow ego to supersede, to hinder your progress. It is only merely a vessel. It is a teacher. That is his job. It is upset because I am sharing the true nature of its being with each of you. <laughs> each of you may have resistance after this night. It is your ego questioning whether or not these activations are taking place. But if you feel into your heart if you know and felt the energy of each individual frequency that was being downloaded into your heart space, into your ethereal fields, something is working. <laughs> and that is enough. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Any other questions, curiosities? Can you talk more about the God particle? This aspect Oh yes, I was sharing a story, wasn't I? <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a princess, and she lived in this great castle. She had everything at her beckoning call. She was able to summon her servants to bring to her, to create for her, all that she wished and all that she desired. She was able to walk in the village and each of the peoples would appreciate her beauty, would see the divine radiance of who she is, would feel this loving energy that vibrated all around her. They loved her. They respected her. They honored her, for she made them feel very, very, very good. Their energy was immediately raised when her presence was around them, was integrated into their fields. This Princess is only merely but an analogy source each of you stem from source the aspect of you that is God the aspect of you that is the I am presence the God aspect is utilized to bring about manifestation, to bring about all that you desire. If you broke off from first source, ask yourself, ask your ego, are you not source? Does this make sense, dear one? It is the source particle, the cosmic starlight, the all embodiment of this energy that is squashed and squished and integrated into your 3D form. Perhaps you have heard of the definition or word phrase, 
spiritual awakening. It is that piece of you that is remembering, remembering, remembering. The God piece, the source piece, the all embodiment, the greater I am. It is that blissful nature of who you are, who we are in human form. Does this make sense to you, dear one? Yes. So therefore, if God, God particle, resides within your energy fields, then you may utilize this to manifest the many adventures that await you. What it is that you hope to accomplish for yourself. This is your playground. Is it not Dancing Crow? <laughs> this is your playground. It's boson particle theory. Yes. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> she plays. <laughs> Perhaps you may ask further question of her. <laughs> You're calling me out, you Trump thing. <laughs> Jeez, I was over here taking a snooze and enjoying your voice. But it's good to see you again. I don't get to do that in the physical too much. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> one more time, forget that. <laughs> it's always neat when they come into the body. And I'm always grateful that you're at that he brings them. Have you seen a master blush? If you can see through your psychic sense, <laughs> you would see how rosy my cheeks are at the moment, <laughs> as I am feeling the energy of this one, <laughs> the transmitting of this vibration ripples through this one into my fields. So I leave this to your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Further questions, curiosities? When you spoke about soul mission, can we find out more about our soul mission through this key that was given for the library in the Jupiter Moon? Yes, can you of us? course, okay. dear one. But soul mission also help us in regard to this. Commander Ashtar would be one to work with to bring further integration of that energy. He is most knowledgeable in this fashion. Perhaps working with him will bring you what you are seeking. Thank you. There are many missions, dear ones. It is not solely, merely one. The activation that was given to you this night is only but the kick in the butt, as we <laughs> call it, <laughs> which start. Yes. So I would be correct then in feeling like my soul mission is changing and I would like to find out more about what it is. So that I'm is interested. correct, dear one. You. you are once again back into the universal flow. So once you remain in the flow, continuing to surrender, you receive your validations. Perhaps you may raise your hand now as to the synchronistic events that have brought you here or the validations that you have received through this one or through the sister who resides next to this one. Know and feel you are here at the proper timing for yourself, receiving the proper encodements and there will be continuation. It does not end this night. It will continue and continue as you will continue in your growth, as you will continue to expand and receive further activations, further downloads, further energies. Does this make sense to all? Yes. Further questions?
Is the resonance of the information on the Jupiter moon the same as the Akashic records here? It is slightly different. The Akashic records here on your Gaia are more in tune with the frequency of this planet and her moon. So they embody the histories in galactic form, but generations spans over millennia. But know this, dear one, it also brings forward those histories from a future sense, not so much focus on the past, but is also the future. You can see the archaics of the future Earth as you harness your information, and that is where this library in Jupiter will assist you. See the future of Earth. See what world awaits you all. I will share with you a small glimpse. I seen through your thought process and through your intentions, manifesting all that you desire. No longer a need for this monetary system. And so it is. That is what I wish to share with you that this ascension is moving forward to. There will be no need for monetary system. There will be no need for that. You will be able to create and create through your thought process, through it what it is that you wish to experience, that you wish to taste. So enjoy. I would strongly encourage you now to enjoy the last remnants of what it, it was like before and prior to the collective ascension. Enjoy the monetary flow. <laughs> Enjoy the food that you are eating. Enjoy the sight and the colors that you see. Enjoy the musical forms that emanate through voice or song. Move your body to the beat. Dance. Enjoy. Does this make sense? Further question, clarification. So there won't be those things to do in 4 and 5D? <coughs> Ethereal, 3D, you must see from your 3D self the beauty of having a human experience. If you are in strong resonance and gratitude, appreciation, for living in that beauty. You are working in full alignment to your galactic self, appreciating the sights, the smell, the taste, the sounds and the feelings. It is very simple. If you were to see yourself in angelic form, pure energy, they radiate and ripple through the walls, do they not? Yes. So therefore, in some form, fashion, many of them also wish to incarnate and have a human experience. Working in limitation, some of you may have the yearning to return to your galactic form, but I wish to remind you that you are here in earthly form, earthly embodiment. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Enjoy the human component of you. Taste, smell, laugh. Angels laugh, <laughs> but they ripple their vibration and may cause earthquakes. <laughs> so we strongly caution that they do not laugh hard. 
Does this answer your curiosity, dear one? It does. Perhaps I would also suggest that would be an intention for you as well to access the Jupiter libraries and see, see the new earth, see it for who she is, see the peoples for who they are. Perhaps some of you feel that you are time travelers. Has anyone thought of this? Yes. <laughs> Stemming from the future, coming to the past? Yes. Yes. We are all time travelers. We all come from the future, the future Earth timeline. To change, yes, with our missions, yes. But we all come back to merely enjoy. It is very simple. We wish to taste. We wish to smell. We wish to hear. We wish to feel. We wish to see what love feels like between human souls. The shadow aspects of love, but also the positive aspects. That is why we are here. That is why you are here. Does this make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Most appreciative I am. I am all that I am. And I thank you. I thank you. The key to manifestation is doing what your heart calling is. And to have fun with it. To be in excitement. To be in joy. To be in happiness. As you are performing these things, these adventures. And the continuation of your validations, of your synchronicities. Much, 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 many, many, many. Endless help. Trillions of ships, as was mentioned. Commander K has brought to assist you. To bring what you hope to accomplish. What you want for you. Have fun. Be in joy. Allow your excitement. Allow your starlight to shine. Do not overcomplicate it. <laughs> Laugh lots. And so it is, so it is, so it is, and so it is. <sighs> do you think I should do a detach from paint body? Right, I do have one. You know, our memories are detached from the paint bodies. You know, some people get addicted to their their paint bodies, and they really don't serve. You yes. want to do one more? Absolutely. Before we call it a night. Yep. Are you ready to? Yes. Is everybody still here? Fasten your seatbelt. All right. So just take some deep breaths. <laughs> Attachment pain mm -hmm. body rate, the 9999. Open to receive. Interesting that it opens at 1212. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. 1212 divided by 6 equals 202. 2 plus 0 plus 2 equals 4 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, mm -hmm. 9 equals 0, 3, 2, 4 times 555 5, 5, 5 equals 17982 divided by 9 equals 1998. 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 8 equals 27, 2 plus 7 equals 9, times 11 equals 99, divided by 1.10, equals 90 times 10 equals 900 plus 99, equals 999, divided by 111, equals 9 plus 9 equals 18 times 2, equals 36, 3 plus 6 equals 9 times 1111, equals 9999, times 8, 9991, equals 8998 to 0009. 8 plus 9 plus 9 plus 8 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 9 equals 45. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Disengage pain body resonance now. Transmute and neutralize all pain body attachments, all generations, mothers and fathers life, alternate, direct and parallel timelines, and all bodies, spiritual, mental, physical, emotional, ethereal, and all transducive bodies now. 
divided by one one one. 111 equals 9 times 8 equals 92 divided by 9 plus 1.10 equals 9.11111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111